Hi, I'm Megan Woolard. I'm the executive director of the Ronald McDonald Houses here in Eastern North Carolina, and you're watching the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. That's right. This is the East Daily Download. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to the East Daily Download. My name is Mark. I'll be your tour guide on this adventure across East. We're here in Studio E with a full studio audience. <laughs> wow, that was impressive. I'm surprised that actually worked. I figured they'd all keep clapping. Uh, but seriously, there's not a full studio audience here, but uh, sound effects are an amazing thing. So hope you're doing well. Hope your week is off to a good start. We have a big show in store for you. You say, well, how is that different than every other day? Well, that's a, you know, now that I think about it, that's an excellent question because they're all big and good and interesting and dynamic and fun and interesting. Did I say interesting twice? Maybe I did. Anyway, the point is there's a lot of great stuff on today's show designed specifically for you. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stop talking and I think we all know that I enjoy doing that. Uh, I was expecting a clap from the audience or like, woo, woo, woo. Lauren is over here laughing right now. It, anyway, uh, why don't we jump right in, check out this first story. We'll be back here in a little bit on the East Daily Download. Ryan Swanson is the manager of the borough in Swansboro. It's very difficult to find and keep workers. Catherine Fountain is the manager of the Marina Cafe in Jacksonville. Unemployment, stimulus checks, tax returns all right at this time. People don't want to work. Both are experiencing the same thing. They can't find people to work. It's very difficult for our valued employees to, to work those extra hours and those seven days a week. But both managers aren't blaming the people who don't want to work. They say it's the government. People are getting unemployment still. People are getting their stimulus. People are getting their tax returns. So it's hard to keep them. The Marina Cafe currently has three cooks in the kitchen. A full staff is 10. Over at the borough in Swansboro, they have 40 people on staff. Swanson says he usually hires 70. A lot of times with the stimulus packages and what's going on, they're making more money staying at home. And I get that. I, I do. Um, but still makes it hard for everybody else too. Swanson tells me downtown Swansboro relies on each other. If one restaurant goes down, it affects them all. Due to the shortage of staff, both managers from the marina and the borough say it has created long wait times and overworked current employees. What it hasn't affected is business. Our business has been great, and like I said, we've got really great understanding customers, but it's just, I hate for people to have to wait for 45 minutes for their dinner. Fountain tells me even when COVID first hit, they got a paycheck loan to keep staff employed, but lost them due to making more on unemployment. Swanson says something needs to change. He doesn't want to see anyone lose their financial support. Hoping we can stay open and hoping that everybody else can stay open too. I mean, we're, we're a very big community here.
cool. Oh, hey, welcome back to the East Daily Download. I was just, uh, I think as the kids say, I gene, Instagramming, is that a thing? I call it exchange gram Check out the movie The Internship, just free plug for that. You'll understand the reference point. Anyway, uh, we are on social media. Yeah, that's true. Uh, right now I'm actually on Instagram, or the IG, or isn't that what the kids are calling it, Bryce? Is that it? She's acting like she doesn't know. I mean, whatever, okay. Uh, anyway, so I'm just looking at something from the East Daily Download right now and liking it, and you could go there and you could like it as well, and you can find us, East Daily Download Instagram, East Daily Download Facebook, and use the hashtag East Daily Download. We would love to hear from you. One other cool thing we have, this old thing called email. It's uh, what all the kids are doing these days, email, and I believe. Uh, download at WNCT.com. Send us an email. Send us a picture. Send us your thoughts on the show. Tell us what you'd like to see on the show. How about that? Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, check out the Instagram page. All good there. That's a lot of fun. And uh, check out this next story. We'll be back here in a little bit on East Daily Download. Behind me, the 2nd Marine Expeditionary Brigade is loading equipment in support of Operation Dynamic Cape 21.1. This is the second stop of a three-part operation. Marines from CLB 25 Reserves are loading trains with materials and equipment that is heading to a new location. The ship came in from Military Ocean Terminal Sunny Point, Wilmington, where Marines transferred the equipment aboard Camp Lejeune. The equipment will eventually be transported to Blunt Island Command, Florida. It's a faster way than trying to put it on the road and it's a, it's a more effective way to get stuff where it needs to be. The operation provides an opportunity for the 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force, including Bowen, to develop, refine, and test portions of theater opening. It also forces deployment processes to gain proper war fighting proficiency and readiness. The next stop for this equipment is in Florida, where other Marines will load it onto a ship for a simulation in effort to complete the operation. Aboard Camp Lejeune, I'm Kayla Schmidt, 9 on your side. At Methodist Home for Children, our work is always essential and the need is always growing as we continue to take in children. Now more than ever, we need loving foster homes willing to provide safe, stable homes and donations to fight abuse and neglect in the Pitt County area. See how you can foster or help by visiting mhfc.org today. Change a life for the better with Methodist Home for Children because every child deserves a chance. The right place. Let's make this our power to get you feeling just right. Let's raise my boy! Five days a week. $35,000. Go ahead and lose control. It's all right. $200,000. Oh, 
Unbelievable. The Price is Right weekdays on CBS. Hey, we are back here on the East Daily Download, uh, and I was just pulling up the CW mobile app. You can't really see it from there, but uh, here it is. It's a great resource to watch CW shows. So, for instance, I love the new Superman and Lois. It's a great show. Check it out. Kung Fu's great as well. Check that out. Got a whole bunch of great shows, and you can go and watch after, so like, say for instance, Whatever airs tonight, you can watch tomorrow on the app. The very next day, it's available on the app, and they have back episodes, so you can get caught up if you need to. But check that out, and don't forget the WNCT mobile app, which has this show. It's a whole new layout, a whole new design. It's really cool and slick. You get local news, local weather from Storm Team 9, and local East Daily Download from the East Daily Download. I, yeah. Anyway, let's check this next story out. We'll be back here in a little bit on the East Daily Download. Ghostbusters Afterlife hits theaters on November 11th, and I'm going to tell you everything we know, starting with the return of an OG villain. It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Ah. <laughs> ah. The new mini versions are just as menacing. How do you feel about Paul Rudd being oh, cast? He's, he's, fun, he's hilarious and great. Dan Aykroyd's back along with most of the original team. I've been on all the Ghostbuster movies and I've enjoyed them all. Getting back with the other guys and Sigourney and Annie Potts, it was spiritual. And it appears the late Harold Ramis's legacy as Egon Spangler lives on. The trailer suggests The Leftovers. Carrie Coon will play his daughter. Is it a continuation of it, the same it, it character? It feeds beautifully into the first two stories and hands it off to a new generation. Afterlife is the third movie in the original Ghostbusters universe set 30 years after ghost sightings ended and moving from New York City to small town Oklahoma with kids busting ghosts. It has a gunner seat? Writing and directing is original director Ivan Reitman's son Jason, who we met as an 11 year old answering to his dad's name. Mr. Reitman. The following is a ridiculous promotional announcement from Eastern North Carolina CW. Get ready for big laughs because we've assembled the funniest sitcoms of all time for you, Bob's Burgers. It's Belcher against Belcher. Whenever I'm hungry for laughs, I just put some Bob's Burgers on and I'm like all better. Now this priceless masterpiece is yours free. Whenever I'm hungry, Bob's Burgers is all I need. Act now and you'll also receive Family Guy absolutely free. Let's do that! Yeah! A Family Guy is a classic. I love when Peter fights a chicken. It's ridiculous. Crazy. I don't quite get it, but I'm pretty sure it's probably pretty funny. If you act right now, this set of shows won't set you back a month's salary. You'll get them for free. It's unlimited hours of laughter and fun made available to you. The greatest sitcoms of all time on Eastern North Carolina CW. This offer is not available in stores.
To truly master Kung Fu, one must have a quiet mind. Shall we begin? A lot has happened since you've been gone. Kung Fu. New series Wednesday at 8, 7 central, only on The CW. Told the boys you're Superman. Didn't lie to him, anyone. Make a choice, me or them. Superman and Lois. New episodes return Tuesday, May 18th, and catch up now on the CW app. about cool stuff like thunder, lightning, storms. Isn't he so cool? Yay! Well, guess what? This could be you. That's right. You could be on TV with Chief Meteorologist Jerry Jackson talking about the fascinating world of weather. Awesome, huh? If you want to be a weather kid, tell your parents to send an email to jjackson at wnct.com and we'll see you right here on WNCT 9 on your side. 
Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the East Daily Download. As always, thank you for joining us. We truly appreciate it. We know you have a lot of choices for programs, and the fact that you chose this show means the world to us. Whether you're watching on Eastern North Carolina CW at noon, whether you're watching on the WNCT mobile app, or WNCT.com under the download tab. However you choose to watch the show, we're glad that you're here with us. Uh, we have a big week of shows in store for you, so stick around, come back tomorrow when we do it all again and give you a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, and I believe it's Tuesday tomorrow, which means we will have some down eat. So you know that'll be good. I also wanna give a big shout out to a super fan today, Sydney Caraway. this one's for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for participating. Thank you for being part of it. We appreciate you. Uh, have a great day, everybody. I'm going to get out of here. Um, you know, it's lunchtime. I'm kind of hungry. And uh, I understand Lauren said something about buying lunch today. So I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. I'm out of here. Tuesday on the East Daily Download, Down Eats is coming your way. And we have an East Daily Download original story. That's Tuesday here on the East Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW.